Bill Maher had on the great comedian Kamau Bell to his show on Friday, and Maher actually made a, a really sneaky and really silly argument defending a comment that Paul Ryan recently made. And it's a right-wing point, which is rare for Maher to make, but let's listen and then I want to come back and break it down and explain why it's so off-base. But anyway, Paul Ryan said, we've got this tailspin of culture in our inner cities, in particular, of men not working and just generations of men not even thinking about working or learning the value and culture of work. And, you know, my conservative friends are always saying, you know, you guys, you see race in everything. Maybe we do. I'm just, I'm asking honestly, <laughs> is this a case where he's just being honest? And it's not about race, or are we seeing race here where it shouldn't be? Because that was the criticism, is that he was talking in code. I will go ahead and say that there's race there, that he was talking about black people when he said that. He's talking about black and Latinos when he says it, absolutely. Because you can't blame the people in the inner city, blacks and Latinos, for not having jobs when there's no jobs to get in the inner cities. And you can't blame them when the schools suck, the hospital sucks, there's no grocery store. All their fathers are in jail. You can't blame them for not doing better when that's the case. Here's something else Paul Ryan said. He said, when it comes to getting an education, too many of our young people just can't be bothered. They're sitting on couches for hours playing video games, watching TV. Instead of dreaming of being a teacher or a lawyer or a business leader, they're fantasizing about being a baller or a rapper. Or a comedian. Oh, wait. That wasn't him. That was Michelle Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Obama said that. No, I don't think this is a Republican issue. Yeah, exactly. I don't think this, so, is, a, this exactly. is a Republican or a Democrat issue. This is a people issue. Yeah, but you just called, oh, you just called well, Ryan yeah, a racist. Suddenly. What? You just called Ryan a racist. Basically. Did I actually say he's a racist? Basically. Yeah. No, I said he's talking about black people. Yeah, you basically, know, basically call somebody but a racist. Like, you're you're a racist or you're not a racist. I just read this and you thought it was from Paul Ryan. Because you told and me it was. was. <laughs> For a reason. I'm just asking, is something less true if a white person says it about black people? It, it, the truth is the truth and a lie is a lie. I'm not there, here to represent the, the side of, like, if black people say it, it's more true because black people say it. No, but it does sound like Michelle Obama is agreeing with Paul Ryan. It does, this sounds more, that, that, that this sounds of, even more like, hey, black people, don't be lazy. Well, that sort like of, Paul Ryan. First of all, where did she say it? She said it in front of black people with no cameras. She said it at Bowie State commencement speech. <laughs> See, there we go, that's black people. She's talking to black people. We talk to each other differently than we talk to them in front of you. All right. So, of course, conservatives are masturbating to this because they think Marr caught Kamau Bell in a contradiction, but he didn't, and here's why that point is actually pretty stupid. There's two reasons. Number one, it, he didn't read the rest of Paul Ryan's quote where Paul Ryan praised the author Charles Murray and his book called The Bell Curve, which is a book that literally argues white people are smarter than black people and it is inherent in the color of our skin. So there's no debate, like, oh, was Paul Ryan talking about black people? Or There's no debate among intelligent people who know about the book from Charles Murray. That we go, oh, okay, he's literally citing a racist book. Yes, when he says inner city, he's not talking about fucking blonde hair, blue-eyed people, okay? He's talking about black people. He's talking about blacks and Latinos, period. End of discussion. There's no, it's not up in the air, okay? So he actually cited that. Okay, that's point number one. But the bigger point is this. When Michelle Obama makes that comment, telling kids to stop acting a certain way, she does that with the promise of fighting for good policy also. So it's a two-way street. What she's doing is she's saying, all right, guys, like, let's get our shit together here and let's fight and let's try to buy into this game and try to climb up the economic ladder and take care of our responsibilities. And as you do that, I will push my husband, the President of the United States, to give you an equal opportunity by giving you health care, by giving you a good education, by giving you job training and, and job programs, by giving you actual jobs, by growing the economy, by giving you this shot, this equal opportunity. When Michelle Obama talks about it, it's the two-way street. But when Paul Ryan talks about it, it's not. He's using that as an excuse to not keep up his side of the bargain. He doesn't, want, he doesn't want the government to do its part. He just wants to point fingers at minorities and say, it's your fault. Everything that's ever happened in your life, it's 100% your fault. There's no systemic issues involved here. When Michelle Obama is saying the opposite, she's saying, look, there are systemic problems involved here. And there is 
uh, overt racism and subconscious racism, and there's, you know, you don't have an equal shot as Mitt Romney's sons who have all the money and all the opportunity in the world, and we're going to try to get you education, we're going to try to get you health care, we're going to be actual liberals and progressives and, and attack the main problem, but as we are attacking this main problem, yes, let's try to all be responsible and get our shit done. So it's a silly thing. Here's an analogy to, to, to try to draw a comparison here. It's like Paul Ryan is a doctor that comes in and says, oh, you have cancer? Well, what the fuck's wrong with you? Do positive thinking. If you do positive thinking and it, your mind is right, then guess what? You're going to be cured. No problem. Boom. Done. That's a fucking stupid thing to say, isn't it? That's fucking stupid, right? Because obviously the problem is deeper rooted than that. You need chemotherapy and you need, you know, this and you need that. Um, but when it comes to, uh, what's Michelle Obama saying? She comes in the room and she says, okay, so here's our, here's our plan. We're going to put you on this, uh, you know, this, if poverty is, is like cancer, we're going to put you on, uh, radiation, we're going to put you on chemotherapy, we're going to put you on, you know, uh, opiates to deal with the pain, we're going to let you talk to a, a therapist, and then on top of all of that, you should also do positive thinking. So it's, they're doing both. So she's saying, let's address the real problem and also, hey, let's be responsible here. Let's do the positive thinking. Uh, Paul Ryan is just focusing on that part and saying that explains everything, when that obviously doesn't explain everything. There are systemic problems. Poverty is a systemic problem. It's not just individuals who are at fault here. So for Mar to make that point, it, to say that, oh yeah, uh, Michelle Obama looks like she agrees with, with uh, Paul Ryan there, that disregards everything else that they have both said on every other political issue in history. So that's a silly point, and I think he knows it's a silly point. So why he played that stupid gotcha game to try to make it seem like there's a contradiction or some sort of hypocrisy when there's not is actually really annoying.